going to show you how to make a chocolate ganache and the ganache gives your cakes a lovely luxurious chocolate finish. It's great for any special occasion. So first of all what we had to do was boil up our cream and then we're going to pour our chocolate into a jug and then we're going to pour the cream on top. Now with this, rather than whisk it, I'm going to use a hand blender. And what I want to do is just place the hand blender straight into the bottom of the jug. And I'm not going to move it up and down lots and lots because I don't want to get loads of bubbles in my glaze. So I'm just going to leave it on the side. Now we've got our glaze made, we're going to take our cake out of the freezer. The cake wants to be at minus 18 and the glaze needs to be about 38 degrees C. And what we're going to do is pour the glaze over the cake in one go. And then we're just going to smooth across the top to take off any excess glaze. And just give it a bit of a tap. Now what we're looking for is that the glaze stops running down the cake and then I'm going to use my palette knife to take it off and place it onto the card. So with the same ganache that we've used to glaze the cake, if we let it set a little bit and then whisk it, we can get something called a whipped ganache, which is really nice for piping around the edge of your cakes. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir and then whisk it. Now the ganache has got to the right consistency, I'm going to fill it into a piping bag and pipe it around the edge of the cake. Okay, so I've got a star tube on the end of the piping bag and I'm just going to pipe around the base. And a nice rosette. And that gives your cake a great finish.